Good morning, everyone. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, in the reason Jesus Christ, Alleluia. The loss of a loved one often leads us as believers to experience moments of doubt, sadness, or even a total lack of faith. It is therefore for the disciples and the apostles because they leave a shock following the day of the Master Jesus Christ. At the heart of the Sabbath, hope is reborn with the Lord's resurrection among the dead. They were completely destroyed by his absence, frightened by the brutality of his death. They were strongling to come out of this torpor. The next day, the situation will change because Jesus will take the initiative to join them, to show himself to them as reason one, victor over there. At this first appearance, in a community of disciples. Jesus, far from blaming them, sent them a wish of peace and an invitation to be witnesses of his resurrection. He made them participating disciple of his victory in a new mission. As a father, as send me, I also send you. This mission of messenger will reach its apogee or its peak at Pentecost, thanks to the breath of the Holy Spirit. In this first group manifestation, one of the twelve whose name means twin, was absent for some reason not indicated here. This apostle is Thomas. Did he want to defy conf confinement because of the trade from the Jews to pray of the followers of Christ? Would we be a spy to try out what was going on in order to capture the followers of Christ? Whatever the motives, one thing is certain. It is a man who does not allow himself to be convinced by simple words. He only believes if there is tangible and visible evidence. He wants to touch and see the reason one in Jesus. Is it a challenge or a disbelief? He does because he saw the master dead and buried. In the story of this gospel, it is done for him. Jesus Christ is alive and well. He sees it and touches it and checks for traces or scars from his crucifixion. His stubbornness in not believing without saying and touching. It invites us for our governed disciple of today to believe without saying 
all that concern our salvation in Jesus Christ. To be in this state today is to show solidity in the faith. It will be merit for us. It is like a new beatitude. Happy those who believe without saying the Lord. Of course, that does mean that it will be easy to believe, to persevere in the faith in Jesus Christ. The persecution of our mortal life will always come to test us. It is in the heart of all this that he will invite you to be witnesses of his resurrection. A certain way of living as disciples, as it was the case with the first Christian communities recorded in the Act of the Apostles, will give more meaning to this faith in Jesus Christ victor over death by pulling their goods in the service of all according to the needs of each one, the highlight will be the celebration of the Eucharistic in memory of the Lord Jesus Christ. This Eucharistic celebration is not just any simple practice, but it is the source of the construction of the community of faith, of every believer in its diversity of its members. It is an act of community faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is in this dynamic that fraternal charity takes on its full meaning. We are brothers and sisters in the risen Jesus Christ. In each disciple, earning to witnessing the mission of the resurrection, Christ is victorious of death. Like Thomas, it is appropriate to renew one's profession of faith in an inequivocal, sensual manner. My Lord and my God should be the slogan of every follower of Christ. As the stage in faith, we will be able to consider ourselves as the beloved ones, the children of God, by living according to the commandment that the reason one taught us to know how to love one another as a master. The resurrection of Christ changed everything and turned our life of disciple into the air and the abilities are as children of God on Easter morning. We are resuscitated by anticipation because our life remains hidden in that of Christ victorious over death. When we will appear before him in heaven, everything will be clear. Brothers and sisters, let us pray. Let us ask the Lord Jesus Christ to strangle our faith and to make us the instruments of his peace through our fidelity in his spirit. Happy are those who believe in Jesus Christ without having seen him. Good Sunday. Stay safe. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is alive forever and ever. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Alléluia, Alléluia. Happy Easter. Alléluia.